Is innovation key to success? The former Finnish Prime Minister kicked off the last day of hearings by handing out the sweets. Jeri Gatainen spoke with the confidence of a man that has guided Finland's economy. But it wasn't all plain sailing. As Minister of Finance and Prime Minister of Finland, you are one of the strongest advocates of austerity. Today you propose an investment stimulus. Why? We have to reduce debt in order to get growth. And we have to produce growth in order to reduce debt. You spoke of growth and investment, but it's a bit like the chicken and the egg. Which comes first? Ever-growing debt put in danger our economic <coughs> recovery. The first, there must be stability, and there we need investments. Over to the arena of second chances, as MEPs welcomed the return of the Lord. I'm looking forward to getting a Hello again. Chance. I'm looking forward to having a hearing, yeah. The Commissioner-designate for Financial Affairs was called back for failing to put flesh on the bones of his European vision. But applying the old English logic of try and try again, he'll welcome the second calling. Uh, when I said last week that I was looking forward to seeing you again, <laughs> I, um, there's an old saying in English about being careful what you wish for. And the charm offensive didn't stop there. I would like, if we may to step back a little and ask you to imagine for a moment that it is 2019. The big picture for 2019, Europe has returned to growth, unemployment is falling, and our union, by the way, remains a family of 28 member states, including the United Kingdom. I listened with care uh, to your fairy tale are you ready at least to give some examples of names of companies for which you lobbied? So to the reason why he was called back. Concrete answers. La scorsa settimana le ho chiesto cosa pensava degli stress test sulle banche. Volevo sapere la sua opinione, visto che l'altra volta non l'ha data, sul, su queste anticipazioni e se è corretto uh, mettere in fibrillazione il mercato. The market perception in terms of the rigor of those tests I understand has been very positive and institutional investors in very large numbers are expressing their confidence in the exercise. So there we had it. We're all but done. And as we bid once again adieu to Lord Hill, it's back to MEPs to hold court over his and Katainen's commissionership.